Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue class 10th mathematics. This is midterm examination paper 2 key answers from question number 17 to 24. In the previous video of paper 2, we have solved question number 1 to 16, which in which each question carries 1 marks. Now each question carries 2 marks. So let us solve from question number 17 to 24. So the first question is show that 5 minus 2 root 3 is irrational. So let us show it irrational. So let us let us assume that 5 minus 2 root 3 is rational. So 5 minus 2 root 3 is equal to p by q. So here That is, uh, I know, shift martini. So minus 2 root 3 become plus 2 root 3, 5 plus p by q become minus p by q. So 2 root 3 is equal to q na LCM te kondra, q into 5, 5 q minus p. So e root uh, 2 na kalakterana, root 3 is equal to 5 q minus p divided by 2 q. 5q minus p divided by t, 2q is in the form of p by q. Therefore, it is rational. Therefore, root 3 is also rational. So, this is rational. So, this is rational. So, this contradiction arisen. This contradiction arisen. Reason because of our wrong assumption, because of our wrong assumption, root 3 is not rational. Therefore, 5 minus 2 root 3 is irrational. Now, let us move for question number 18. Find the quadratic equation whose zeros are 4 and 1. So let us find out the quadratic equation whose roots are 4 and 1. So in the 18th question they are given alpha is equal to 4 and beta is equal to 1. So alpha plus beta is equal to 4 plus 1 which is equal to 5. Alpha beta is equal to alpha is 4 beta is 1 which is equal to 4. Therefore, x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0. x square minus alpha plus beta is 5x plus alpha beta is 4 which is equal to 0. So, x square minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Solve x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. So, let us solve this question now. So, x plus y is equal to 5, equation 1, then 2x minus 3y is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 5 plus 5, y become minus y. So, 2 into x and 5 minus y minus 3y is equal to 4. 2 5s are 10, minus 2y minus 3y is equal to 4. Minus 2y minus 3y minus 5y is equal to 4 plus 10 become minus 10. So minus 5y is equal to minus 6 minus minus cancer. Y is equal to 6 by 5. X is equal to 5 minus y is 6 by 5. X is equal to 5 is the LCM. 5 5s are 25 minus 6 x is equal to 19 by 5. Now let us move for question number 20. Find the value of k for the equation 2x square plus kx plus 3 is equal to 0. 0 so that it has two equal roots. That is the internal choice question. Find the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So let us solve both the questions now. 
सो फस्ट क्वेश्चन फैंड द व्याल्यू आफ के अंत टू एक्स स्क्वे प्लस के एक्स दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी प्लस थ्री इज ईक्वल टू जीरो स्टैंडर्ड फार्म ए एक्स स्क्वे प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो ए इज ईक्वल टू टू बी इज ईक्वल टू के सी इज ईक्वल टू थ्री डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू जीरो सो डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू बी स्क्वे मैनस फोर ए सी सो डेलटा अरे जीरो इज ईक्वल टू के स्क्वे मैनस फोर इंटू टू इंटू थ्री सो जीरो इज ईक्वल टू के स्क्वे मैनस फोर टू जै एट एट थ्री जो ट्वेंटी फोर सो के स्क्वे इज ईक्वल टू मैनस ट्वेंटी फोर बिकम प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर सो के इज ईक्वल टू प्लस आर मैनस स्क्वे रूट आफ ट्वेंटी फोर सो के इज ईक्वल टू प्लस आर मैनस स्क्वे रूट आफ ट्वेंटी फोर कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर इंटू सिक्स देर फोर के इज ईक्वल टू प्लस आर मैनस स्क्वे रूट आफ फोर इज टू रूट सिक्स सो के इज ईक्वल टू प्लस आर मैनस टू रूट सिक्स ना लेट अस मूव फॉर अदर इंटरनल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो टू एक्स स्क्वे मैनस थ्री एक्स प्लस फै इज ईक्वल टू जीरो इद्रुद्ध नेचर आफ रूट फैंड ए एक्स स्क्वे प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज ईक्वल टू जीरो एज ईक्वल टू टू बी इज ईक्वल टू मैनस थ्री सी इज ईक्वल टू फै डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू बी स्क्वे मैनस फोर ए सी डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू मैनस थ्री हॉल स्क्वे मैनस फोर इंटू ए अरे टू सी अरे फै सो डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू नईन मैनस फोर टू जैट एट फै फार्टि डेलटा इज ईक्वल टू मैनस थर्टी वन इफ डेलटा इज मैनस थर्टी वन डेलटा इज लेसर दैन जीरो देर फोर द रूट्स आर् नाट रियल आर् रूट्स आर् इमरी सो वि गाट इमरी रूट्स Now let us move for question number twenty-one. Find the roots of the quadratic equation. Is uh, that is six uh, x square minus x minus two is equal to zero. If you multiply any two numbers, six two is a minus twelve. If you add or subtract, you have to get minus one. One is a uh, three. Another one is four. So to get minus one for four minus and three plus plus into minus minus three four is a twelve. Then three minus four is minus one. Six x square plus three x minus four x minus two is equal to zero. These two one group and these two one group. Three x common. Then remaining is two x plus one minus two common. Remaining is two x plus one which is equal to zero. So two x plus one is common to both, and remaining is three x minus two, which is equal to zero. So two x plus one is equal to zero. Two x is equal to minus one. X is equal to minus one by two. Three x minus two is equal to zero. Three x is equal to two. X is equal to two by three. So like this, we have to solve this question. Now let us move for question number twenty-two. In the question number twenty-two, they have given which term of the AP twenty-one comma eighteen comma fifteen dash dash is minus eighty-one. Which term? That means we have to find out a uh, n. A given a is equal to twenty-one. D eighteen minus twenty-one, which is equal to minus three. Then a n is given as minus eighty-one. So n is equal to question mark. So a n is equal to a plus n minus one into d minus eighty one is equal to twenty one plus n minus one into minus three minus eighty one minus twenty one is equal to n minus one into minus three. It will become one plus one two eight plus two is ten. Minus one not two is equal to n minus one into minus three. N minus one is equal to minus one not two by minus three minus minus cancel. Three three is a three four. So n minus one is equal to thirty four. N is equal to thirty four plus one. 
so n is equal to 35 so like this we have to find n now let us move for question number 23 diagonals ac and bd of a trapezium abcd with ab parallel dc intersect each other at the point o using similarity criterion for two triangles show that oa by oc is equal to ob by od so let us solve this question now first e question ge na ondu trapezium na barkolna so this is question number 23 first ondu trapezium na barkolna so a that is a b c d is a trapezium a c and b d are the diagonal which intersect at o so here in trapezium a b c d in trapezium a b c d a b parallel to d c so let us take in triangle a o b and triangle c o d angle o is equal to angle o they are vertically opposite angle angle a is equal to angle c angle a is equal to angle c alternate angle so therefore try by a a similarity so by a a similarity triangle a o b is similar to triangle c o d if two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides are proportional a o by o c a o by o c is equal to o b by o b by o d so this is what we have to prove that. for this one one more internal choice question is there so in figure de parallel a c and d f parallel a f prove that b f by f e is equal to b e by e c so e figure na naviga en kottidaro adan thagondu solve maadana so first nanu e figure na kottini so first one triangle barkonana a triangle yavudappa andre modulo d e parallel a c thagontini nanu agare a b c triangle thagobeku a b c triangle ABC triangle na le DE parallel AC. So in one triangle na to So a triangle yada pandre DF parallel AF anta ida. Agar ABE triangle na to korna. So ABE triangle na le DF parallel to AE. So e riti yerado triangle na work korna. E yerado triangle ge so e triangle na le in triangle a b c d e parallel to b c ala sorry d e parallel to a c now you get the theorem apply madre so let us apply the theorem for this one so you get the theorem na apply mark on right now a d a d by b d a d by b d is equal to b e by e c b e by e c is now one and the car point next in triangle a b e d f parallel to a e so i think apply mother a d by b d a d by b d is equal to b f by f e b f by f e is in a two on the career so one is equal to two so one observe muddy illu a d by b d the illu a d by b d rodrinda so one is equal to two therefore b e divided by e c is equal to b f divided by f e so this is what we have to prove it now let us move for the last question of two marks find the distance between the points minus 5 comma 7 and uh, minus 1 comma 3 so x1 y1 x2 y2 so distance between these two points d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square 
so d is equal to square root of so minus 1 minus into minus plus 5 whole square plus 3 minus 7 whole square so d is equal to square root of minus 5 plus minus 1 plus 5 is 4 square then 3 minus 7 is minus 4 whole square so d is equal to square root of 16 plus 16 so d is equal to square root of so 16 two times so d is equal to square root of 16 is 4 to 4 root 2 units so this is the distance between two points so by this we have successfully solved all the questions related to two marks of paper 2 so in the next video we are going to solve three marks questions till then thank you very much still those who are not subscribed my channel please subscribe it those who already subscribed please watch my videos like my videos and share my videos and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video so thanks for everyone who is encouraging my youtube channel once again thank you very much